Hello, this is Domenico with Easynomics, and we're going to work on a Keynesian multiplier paper three type question for practice. If you need review on the Keynesian multiplier or to be introduced to the concept behind the Keynesian multiplier, I recommend that you click on this video that leads you through the concepts behind it step by step. The link will be below in the video notes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the paper three question. Keynesian multiplier practice question part two. I'm going to add more and more practice questions into my playlist for paper three, so look out for those. Here we're given some information in this question. The marginal propensity to consume the MPC in country X is 0 0.75. So typically on a paper three question that relates to the Keynesian multiplier, they're going to give you one or three of four data points that you need uh, to calculate the Keynesian multiplier. So with the Keynesian multiplier, we're going to assume that any additional money that you gain, any additional income to the household, there's only four things that you can do with them. So one of those things that you can do is spend any additional income. So that's the marginal propensity to consume. If I'm given an extra $100 as income, then I can spend it, which is what the marginal propensity to consume represents. Another thing that I can do with any additional money that I receive as income is that I could save it. So that's the marginal propensity to save. So I'm given an extra $100. I can spend some of it. I can save some of it. Any additional income given to a household is also taxed. So that's a third impact on any additional income, which is the marginal propensity to tax. In addition to that, I can spend additional income unimported goods, which would leak out of my national economy and become income or revenue for a foreign firm or foreign household. So that's the marginal propensity to import. So the Keynesian multiplier assumes that any additional income, there's four things that can happen to it. Some of it will be spent, some of it will be saved, some of it will be taxed, and some of it will be spent on imported goods. With that being said, the last three components, MPS, MPT, MPM, are the marginal propensity to withdraw, which essentially illustrates the leakages of any additional income. As you study the circular flow, injections and leakages, uh, money that leaks out of the circular flow of income is any money that's saved. You put money into a bank, it's in a savings account, so it's no longer flowing within the circular flow of income, unless the bank loans it out to a firm or to a household, which then can then spend it or invest it, et cetera. So initially savings is a leakage because it's not being, uh, it's been taken out of the circular flow. So it's a withdrawal, W being withdrawal or a leakage. Any money that is taxed, uh, is also a leakage. It's withdrawn from the circular flow. The government collects that tax revenue to be spent eventually on some type of public good or service. So initially, any income that's taxed is a leakage. And again, any uh, income that's spent on imported goods leaks out of the national economy and goes to a foreign economy. So the MPS, the MPT, the MPM, are the marginal propensity to withdraw. These are the sum of these components that are the leakages. So this question, question A, asks us to calculate the marginal propensity to withdrawal of country X. So I'm gonna ask you to pause the video and consider what the answer would be with this background knowledge, and we'll take a look at your work. So pause the video now. All right, so let's see what you came up for with your answer. So MPC, MPS, MPT, MPM, the sum of these four components equals one, all right? One being this is all of the things that you can do with any additional income. You can spend some of it, save some of it, tax it, uh, buy goods that are imported. The sum of that is the sum or the whole of any additional income that you gain. So if I gain an extra dollar, that extra dollar could lead to some of it being spent, some of it being saved, some of it being taxed, some of it being imported. If I get an extra $100, some of it will be spent, saved, taxed, and imported. Fine. So calculate the marginal propensity to withdrawal of country X. 
we got all the information that we need here. So if the, let's do question A, if the sum here's one equals 0 0.75, which is equal to marginal propensity to consume plus MPS, MPT, MPM, plus the marginal propensity to withdraw. It's just the difference between the two. So here we have uh, one minus 0 0.75, which will equal the marginal propensity to withdraw. So the marginal propensity to withdrawal is simply 0 0.25. So here I've answered question A. So let's move on to question B. Question B says, calculate the value of the Keynesian multiplier for, for country X. So pause the video and go ahead and calculate the, the Keynesian multiplier. Pause the video now. Okay, so let's check your work. The Keynesian multiplier, question B. The Keynesian multiplier is a formula. which you need to know. You don't get a formula sheet for your exam, so you need to know this. The Keynesian multiplier is equal to one over one minus the marginal propensity to consume, and we have that data right here. And that's also equal to one over marginal propensity to save, plus the marginal propensity to tax, plus the marginal propensity to import which is equal to one over the marginal propensity to withdraw. So let's go ahead and calculate two ways that we can calculate the Keynesian multiplier. First, let's look at one over one minus the MPC, the Keynesian multiplier, Keynesian multiplier equal to one over one minus the MPC. Here on an exam, they will give you one of these data points, the MPC, or three of the other data points, MPS, MPT, MPM. Here we have the MPC. So it's one over one minus 0 0.75, perfect. I can also calculate this as the Keynesian multiplier equal to one over the marginal propensity to withdraw, the sum of MPS, MPT, MPM. And we know that the marginal propensity to withdraw is 0 0.25. So that equals one over 0 0.25. This formula, one over one minus the MPC, one over one minus 0 0.75 is one over 0 0.25, or one over the marginal propensity to withdraw. And that equals four. So the Keynesian multiplier is four. One over 0 0.25 is four. So there is my final answer. Four is the value of the Keynesian multiplier. Four equals the Keynesian multiplier. Okay. Perfect. So we have answered question B. We're good. Now let's move on to question C. Question C states, using your answer in part B, calculate the change in real GDP of country X as a result of an increase in government spending by 42 billion. So pause the video and calculate what that answer would be and we'll check your work in a moment. Pause the video now. Okay, so let's go over question C. Using your answer in part B, calculate the change in real GDP, et cetera. So here we're looking at any change in government spending, which is a component of aggregate demand. Aggregate demand, as we know, is equal to the sum of consumption spending plus investment spending plus government spending plus exports minus imports. So in this case, government spending has changed. Any change in government spending will shift the aggregate demand out the multiplier effect will, will take place. So we're gonna multiply that by the multiplier and that's gonna equal any change in real GDP. 
So here we have the change in government spending. That change in government spending is 42 billion. So 42 billion of additional government spending, which will be an injection into the circular flow, multiplied by the Keynesian multiplier of four, will give us the change in real GDP. So 42 billion times four is 168 billion dollars, which is again equal to the change in real GDP. All right, perfect. So we have calculated um, that answer. So that will be it for this video. In the next video, we'll go over question D. So look for the link below and then you can continue to question D where we're going to sketch an ADAS diagram to show the impact of the Keynesian multiplier in the context of this uh, question in regards to country X. All right. If you have any questions, please comment those questions below. Don't forget to subscribe and to like, and please link, uh, click on the next video for sketching this diagram as you may be asked to do on a paper three type of exam. Thank you so much. Take care.